All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of Yashia This your brother Pawaria coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is Having Patience is Key. And it's one of the keys is that one of the keys that we must have in order to enter into the kingdom. All right. Because either even Yahweh Shah himself tells us in Luke 21 and 19 that in your patience, possess ye your souls. All right. So and when you go into that word patience, let's read it real quick. It means steadfastness, constancy, endurance in the New Testament, the characteristics of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and suffering patiently and steadfastness a patient steadfast waiting for a patient enduring sustaining perseverance all right so a hey, patience is something that we're gonna have to go through suffering all right but we have to endure those things man yahweh shot himself had to suffer the um our forefathers went through suffering, man. But but hey, man, you got to endure those things because we have a great reward if we if we go through them sufferings and endure. Because hey, it, hey, our faith got to be tested, man. All right, our faith our, our faith is gonna be tested. Let's get this real quick in James one. Uh, and verse two, it says, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. So we got to go through it to get to it, man. All right. Our faith is going to be tested. So that's another key ingredient that we have to have in order to enter the kingdom is having faith, man. All right. And, and keeping our integrity when we're going through things, man. All the brothers is going through things, man. We're suffering. But, hey, we have to endure and, and continue to do the things that the Lord command us to do, man. Stand in the spirit as much as we possibly can because this flesh is going to be, hey, this flesh wants everything, man. He wants you to feed it everything. So we got to starve it out, man. All right. Um, I'll read another one. Verse four says, but let patient have her perfect works. That ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. All right. So the Lord, hey, the Lord is gonna give us everything in due season. The things that we need to to make it through, we the Lord is written that the Lord is gonna gonna uh, feed us, shelter us. You know what I'm saying? All these things. So hey, there's really nothing to worry about, man. You know. All right. Um. So count it all joy, man. Because the things, the suffering going through, man, allow it to you allow yourself to learn from it and to build from it and, and to make you a better version of yourself. All right. But uh, let's jump down to verse 12. James 1 and 12, it says, blessed is the man that endureth temptations. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord have promised to them that love him. All right. So, hey, man, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? For us to go through these things, but enduring them, man, we have a, a, a eternal righteous kingdom that the Lord has promised unto us, man. So we got to continue to love him. And, and we all know what love is, man. You read that in first John uh, five and three. All right. So hey, we got to hey, make sure that we in it to win it. Hey, ain't no turning back, man. Ain't no turning back. So when we suffering, man, we can't get weak. We can't get faint hearted. All right. We got to keep on fighting. Keep swinging. That shield of faith, man. And yeah, put that shield of faith up, man. All right. But uh, let's go into um, Sirach. And we're going to read uh, Sirach 16. And 
verse 13, it says, The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. All right? So, man, meaning that, hey, this devil is not going to be able to uh, prevent us from getting the, the fulfillment that the Lord have for us, man. He won't be able to prevail over us if we just keep the faith and, and endure through the patience. I mean, through the the tribulations, through the, the trials, the suffering that we got to go through, man. You know, keep our integrity and, and endure to the end. And we have a great reward coming for us, man. It, nothing got victory over us, man. The Lord even, he, he got victory. He had won victory over death. All right. And these are the things that the Lord promised unto us, man, as well, if we endure. And we got plenty of examples of our forefathers and, and Yahweh Shai himself that went through suffering and, and endured. And, and hey, so we got a great reward if we continue in this, man. All right. Because, hey, hey, we all, hey, everybody suffering, man. The righteous and the wicked, you know. So you might as well suffer for righteous sake, man. Surf, suffer for the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, this is uh Second Edris seven and and we're gonna read verse eighteen. It says, "Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for the wide." All right, so the righteous going to have to, we're going to have to suffer and, and go through the straight gate, man. All right, but we hope for the wide, that wide being the kingdom, that everlasting kingdom, man. That's what we that's what we hope for. That's what we are about to receive if we if we just a hey, endure. All right. Um all right, I'll read it again. It says, Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. <laughs> see, so, hey, these wicked people, the two thirds of our people, hey, it, it, all these other nations, they're not, they not going to see the kingdom, man. On the, oh, hey, we, we want to be them first fruits that, that enter in the kingdom and see it all, man. Seeing the downfall of our enemies. You know what I'm saying? I want to see, you know, I want to see all of that, man. I want to partake and, and, and Lord will it be a battle axe for the Lord, man. That's that's what I want, right, man. And I'm sure the brothers around and all the brothers, man, we want the same thing, man. You know? So it's a beautiful thing that the Lord has given us this truth, this marvelous light, took us out of the darkness so that we can uh, have hope to be able to, to see these things happen, man. Cause hey, we see all these things, these prophecies unfolding right before our very eyes, man. So it's a beautiful time we living in. Also a scary time, man, if you ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So this is a time to get right or, or die, man. You know what I'm saying? Get right or get left. Okay? Cause that 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 grace period, that grace period is closing. Alright. But uh Let's get um uh, let's get this in uh while I'm in uh in the apocrypha um uh, now I'll, I'll wait on that one and um I'll just get it for uh Sirach two I was gonna say this scripture for last man because. This is something that we must not do, man. But this is Sirach 2 and 14. It says, Woe unto you that have lost patience. Woe meaning destruction. All right? Destruction is coming unto you if you lose patience, man. If you start suffering and you want and you go back into the world, or you're thinking you you missing out on something. So you go back into the world or anything, man. You turning back, hey, you're going to be destroyed. It's plain and simple, man. All right. 
This uh, it says, "Woe unto him that is faint." I mean, Salaki. Uh, what was that? Sirach. Uh, two and fourteen. It says, "Woe unto you that have lost patience." And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? All right, what you gonna do, man? If when the Lord come and, and you you in the world somewhere doing some shit you know you ain't supposed to be doing, all right. Man, man, you, hey, that's why hey, you might as well serve the Lord, man, why why the opportunity is is here. Okay? Um I read on. It, it says, "They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him." And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. And so there ain't no room for no prideful pride. There's no pride, no room for pride in our hearts, man. No reason for anybody to be prideful, man. All right. The Lord hates pride. And, and the scripture says pride cometh before destruction. All right. It says saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men for as his majesty is so is his mercy and, and that's what we want to receive man we want to receive the Lord's mercy man and we want to be in the good hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai when he come back and return to this place because he's coming back angry you know and, and the Lord also coming back happy too as well you know what I'm saying to be able to be reunited with the elect, you know what I'm saying, man. He he's waiting for for his father to just give him that 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 go ahead, you know what I'm saying. Go ahead, do your thing now, you know what I'm saying. He waiting for that time, man. All right, and we want to make sure that we are on on the good side, on his good side, man, to be able to receive uh, salvation and not his the destruction, and his wrath that he's about to bring to this place. All right. Because, hey, the anger that the Lord coming in, man, hey, you don't want no parts of that, man. I know I don't want no smoke. All right. This is uh, Romans. Uh, this is Romans 5. And we're going to read 5 and verse 3. And it reads, it says, it says, and not only so, but we glory. I'll just read from the top. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the most high power through our Lord, Yahweh Shab Mashiach. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the most high power. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work of patience and patience experience and experience hope. All right. And I believe I believe this is the scripture that the brother Mathatia say is that blueprint, man. All right. You know, this is that blueprint. Okay? So we gotta utilize all these things, man. Utilize these scriptures. You know, the whole the Lord come in the whole volume of the book. And he has it says it what uh was that Romans 15 and 4? The things that was written before time was written for our learning. You know what I'm saying? Uh let me get it real quick. I'm right here. Romans 15 and 4 for whatsoever thing. Was written aforetime, was written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So us knowing and, and understanding, having an understanding of these scriptures, man, it gives us hope. Knowing that at the end of this, we win. We got victory coming, man. Alright? Beautiful thing, man. This is a beautiful thing that we in, man. We cannot forsake the assembly. Of the brotherhood, we cannot forsake this truth that the Lord allow us to be able to come into and understand. Man, this is a treasure. 
All right. Because a lot of people can't get this. They don't see it. But the Lord has opened up our eyes to be able to see these things, man. The water you have by Shimei was shy. Okay. But uh, uh, let's get this in Acts. Uh, Acts 14. In verse 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Hey, ain't no turning back, man. We have to continue until the end in this faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high power. So, hey, we must go through it to get to it. So we're going to go through tribulations, man. But, hey, count it all joy, man. That's it. That's all, man. You know, knowing that we have a reward coming. Hey, this should be something worth fighting for. If Man, this is the only thing worth living for and dying for, you know. Because, hey, you know what I'm saying? Everything we willing to lose. Every, we gotta, Hey, you got to be willing to lose it all. You, are, you should already lost it all, man. You know, because the things of this world is, is temporary. And the things we lose on this side, the Lord is going to give it to us a hundred folds in the kingdom, man. We're going to receive all that's back. You know? But uh, that's pretty much the point. I ended off with uh, um, this in Second Thessalonians. Um, one. In verse 4, and it reads, it says, So that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the Most High Power for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. And, and that's the key word, man, right there, endure. Endure when we're being persecuted in these tribulations, when that, that, uh, the hour of temptation come. You know, we have to endure those things. And because the Lord hey, told us, man, not to take that seat here. All right. You know, you're going to have to answer to him. So, hey, man, the Lord has given us this blueprint. He's given us the things that we need to do to please him. So we got to continue in these things, man. All right. That's it. That's all. OK, but uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It, and there's plenty of other scriptures, man, that go into uh, having patience and, and enduring until the end, you know. But Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekach Kadash. Devil honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing this word in truth, sincerity, always in charity. Barak Thumb Akim, we almost out this hellhole. Let's keep on pushing and enduring to the end. Shalom to you brothers and you sisters. Shalom.